of Traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I'm going to start out the show a little differently today. We got Stan Harley's going to be our guest at the break, and hopefully Tim Bost, who's going to be back as a regular very, very soon. He's going to have a cameo appearance today, going over some of the things that Norm Winsky talked about with this uh, solar eclipse and new moon that we're having. It's just so very, very important. But I have to tell you a uh, funny story. Um, Ken Duncan, uh, who ran uh, Ken Dung Records, uh, he had, uh, I think, 60 gold and platinum albums. The guy, he did everybody as far as uh, – he was the engineer on these things. But he was a foreign currency trader when I was there in San Luis Obispo and Avila Beach. He was also a good friend of Jack LaLanne. And uh, Ken, uh, Ken and I got to be very, very close, and we got to go on a couple flights with the Beach Boys and a couple other people that were relatively famous. But we were sitting there one day in the office. And there at my the trading office there in Pismo Beach, and uh, uh, he he was on he was on the phone. This was before cell phones. This was 1991. Uh, well, they had cell phones in '87, but they were the size of a baby truck. Anyway, he was on the phone and uh, he, he was chatting with somebody. He was laughing and joking. I said, "Man, have a lot of fun." I said, "Who's that?" He said, "He said Stevie Wonder." And I, you know, I, I knew he talked to all these people, so I knew it was right. And I said, uh, "Ask him if he ever saw Stevie Wonder's house," and. Uh, <laughs> the joke is because he's blind he said have you ever seen stevie wonder's house and he says well stevie wonder hasn't seen it easy either and he told this to stevie wonder and he said he wants to talk to you so i pick up the <laughs> i get the phone and uh, i said oh man i said i'm such a big fan of yours i'm so god darn embarrassed i said i could give you a few bars of isn't she lovely and he said look he said you just take care of my main man mr kd he said because he's the he's where the action is and he was really nice about it but ken designed the whole uh um, sound room at his house down in the Hollywood Hills, but he, I never got to meet him. And he, you know, his, his name was Little Stevie Wonder. Little Stevie Wonder is six foot three, so he was a big dude. But I, I never did get to meet him. I talked to him on the phone. That was the one time. But the joke is, did you ever see Stevie Wonder's house? It's same thing with Ray Charles. You know, did you ever see Ray Charles' house? Well, Ray Charles never seen it either. That's not saying anything woke against blind people, folks. That's just a poor taste of an Italian joke. That's basically it. I posted a chart here in the room today of the E-mini S&P 500 showing you the three drive to a top pattern. This, oh dear, I've lost it again. One second and I'll get it right back up because this is extremely important. I want to go through a couple of things astrological that may or may not mean anything to you, but they mean something to me because I've studied it. There's your three drive to a top pattern. You can see the ABCD structures that are in here. And uh, the timing between the highs happens to be uh, just about absolutely perfect. What I want to do is I want to come up to show you what that means when you put these together and take a quick look at it. Hold on one second, and here's where we are. And, okay, here's where we are. Okay, now, you can see from high to high to high to high, high to high is 27 days, low to high, excuse me, it's low to high, low to high is 27 days. Today's the 27th day. We also have a uh, new moon and solar eclipse coming in uh, Thursday, Friday. There's an orb of two days on that. It could go two days to do the meeting or to do any type of action, but it doesn't work all the time. Now, here's what I have done. This is the type of work, work that I did with uh, uh, Ruth Miller and uh, Jim Twentyman when I was doing the book, uh, Astro Cycles, A Trader's Viewpoint, back in 86. Uh, all of 86 and part of 87, okay? Now, he, what I've done here, you, you see this first cycle that's right here. 
Now, all I did, you see these, this dot right here, the red dot means it's the start of the new moon. That's a, that's a conjunction. That's zero degrees. See, there's another one right here. Okay. You see the full moon where it's the little zeros? Those are full moons. That means that it's a, it's, it's a conjunction. Is the Conjunction is the start of the new moon. Opposition is the full moon. Now, do they work all the time? No, they don't. But if you look at them in conjunction to a trading cycles as far as retracements and stuff, they are extremely good. And this is what Andrew Lowe did when he did his book, Evolution of Technical Analysis. I, I keep that book here on my desk because it's got so much great information in it. So all I've done here is I've gone over a month or so. Show well, it's a couple of months to show you that yes, it works part of the time, but sometimes it doesn't work. The thing that's really super important, and this is what Norm Winsky talked about, and I think Tim was probably going to do the same thing, is that when you have this the eclipse type thing happening, okay, and then you have the you know the um, signs of the uh, zodiac along with the, um, the the different aspects hitting. Like Mercury going retrograde, and then we have that comes in on Friday when all of these things are coming together. That that's where these cycles come from. Now, just because they're astral cycles, folks, don't be scared of that because they're just days. The whole darn calendar is nothing more than ast is nothing more than a, the number of days, 365 days in a year. Okay, that each one of them is split up into you know quarters and stuff like that. That's all they really are. And that's why you shouldn't get afraid of it. And and I'm not afraid of it. I just don't understand it all. That's why I have people coming on here that are darn good at this, and they help explain that. I'm really simple. I just look at this little chart that I'm looking up right here today in that S&P, and I knew that if I had everything lined up like this, I have to be looking at a, to being a seller up in here. Hold on. Give me a second right here. But the, the, the difference is is this, and this could be extremely important in the future. Because I wanted to be a seller above 42. It got to 41.99. This high was 42.08. Now, we took this out in the Dow Jones easily. We didn't even come close in the, in the NASDAQ or the Russell. Neither one of those came very, very close. But the timing between those 27 days, those 27 days, and the fact we were sitting right at that level told me that, look, this may not be the best thing we got, but it's the only thing I got because I can do this real simple on the back of an envelope or with five fingers in my hand. I can count and I can see the ABCD, and that's all I really need to to do to get anything on. Now, I missed the, the high. I was trying to do it at 4208 or higher. We got to 4198. I did. I sold the 382 retracement back. Haven't even checked to see what it's been doing since that time, but that was at uh, what's right where it is right now, 41.78.50. That, that's the 382 retracement back on that movement. And uh, it's been setting here. Well, it got as high as 479, but that's what uh, that's what it's looking at right there. So I hope that uh, gives you some idea of some of the things that we're paying attention to uh, here today. So here, just give me one second, folks. I got to ring the cash register here to make a couple of bucks, and we'll be all done here. There we go. Hold on. I'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of Bank of America. They had posted earnings today. You know, the banking crisis is totally over. You know, they basically said that. I heard Janet Yellen mention that, and also I think Chairman Powell might have said that too. But if you notice here with uh, Bank of America today, the 382 retracement on that whole move came in at 3110. The high today on Bank of America, at least it was an hour or so ago, it's a dollar lower than that right now. It was 31.17, so it missed it. We were looking for 31.10. It got to 31.17. We'll have to rework those numbers to see what happened with uh, why it didn't work so well. Now, if it closes above 3100, this would certainly, I would think, be a breakout, especially after backing off a point and a half since it made that earlier in the morning. Now, it's another one that I want to show you, and it's the reason why the Dow Jones has had such a strong rally. And that is our good friends over here at Apple Computer, which is basically, you know that they have their own credit card now, folks. It pays 4.5%. And not only that, guess who the bank is that's taking care of all that? None other than our good friends over at uh, Goldman Sachs. There was, you can see here, we hit the 382 yesterday, and then the uh, earnings today were mediocre or whatever it was. And the market gapped down. Uh, eight or nine dollars, and that low right here, uh, it was at twenty uh, three twenty five, I believe. That was an exact three eight two retracement of this low right here. If this thing turns and goes up, this is really bullish, because the fact that it could stop here and rally all the way back to the sixty one percent of the previous day's high is not an easy feat, because that's eight dollars. And in a stock that's three hundred and some bucks, it's not much. But when you're in the Dow Jones and it's cap. Um, price weighted it's a big deal and that's why the Dow Jones moves so quickly when it moves uh, that often so those were two there were others that I had looked at but those were the one they all do pretty much exactly the same thing now the next chart I want to show you to me is the most important chart other than that e-mini S&P chart and also the Dow Jones chart the NASDAQ and the Russell, all those are very important. But I want you to look at this next one because this is the big daddy rabbit, folks. This is the note. This is the 10-year note. This is interest rates on your car, your mortgage, your uh, credit card, all that stuff. And as you can see here, 
we have an ABCD coming in right here, and we are within just a few pips of it, folks. My limit minder is on. I put it a couple ticks above it because this is a huge market, folks. It's the biggest of all the futures markets that we trade in the U.S. Uh, it's about six times bigger than the bonds in open interest, and it really is the one that people watch. And this is part of that, you know, that two-year, ten-year note spread. So this is really important what's happening uh, right here because there's an ABCD. And not only that, folks, it's the first one we had in a very, very long time. There were no ABCDs all the way up. There was a nice three drive to a top pattern and then the pullback, but there was no clear ABCD until what we're looking at right here. And to me, that means uh, very, very much. I've also got some new information. Uh, we've been talking about these dynamite triangles and some of these things. And I happen to be chatting with an old uh, technician friend of mine named Jim Twentyman. And we were chatting about it. And he said, do you remember the work we did with William Dunnigan's work? And he was in the 1950s, the same time that Mr. Gartley was around. He had two things, the, Dun the Dunnigan one-way formula and the Dunnigan thrust method. I had both of those. I still have them in there. And they basically, what they're doing is doing what Tom Hugard does. You're buying thrust or, you know, selling weakness, that type of thing. The reason why Tom is so very, very successful, folks, he is able to add the position when the market moves to his in his direction I mean, without any hesitation. You just wouldn't believe it when you would see him trade. When the market a move like this, and when he's on board, and his rule is, when you first start thinking of taking a profit because you've made so much, add more. And that's what he does. He's only right about 28% of the time, but the amount of, amount of money that he makes is 10, 20 times more than just about anybody. I mean, he just does, he does an incredible job. Now, he runs in periods where you know he gets banged around a bit and he's only right about 28 percent of the time but what he's doing is he's buying that thrust or selling that weakness see a market like this which just goes chopping around he's not going to do too much but a market like this that breaks down really fast that's it but these markets like this they're only in these runaway times about 15 percent of the time so that's why you've got to be able to do it also a comment on about his book the best loser wins uh that book has set some really big records, folks. He sold so many copies. I just was shocked when he told me uh, what he was doing. It was just uh, really just blew me away to see what he did with that. So pay attention to those treasury notes and treasury bonds. You know, those are the ones that uh, that are that are really super super important. Another one, extremely important today, and that is our good friend Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. I want to get this up here. And uh, show you, uh, uh, I, I'm charging the phone. I, I forgot to turn it off. Would you check and see what it, ne <laughs> never. That's okay. Just my phone's uh, fixed up here. I'll have to get straight. Here's Apple, as you can see it here on the way like this. It's already popped above this. Now it's gone above 167. That would be a, certainly a breakout of this move. This could be the main reason that maybe the stocks are going to explode higher from here. Now, it's backed off a little bit. It's trading back around that 165 again. So this might just be a false breakout, but you can't say that. This is a breakout. If it goes back below 162, then it would be a false breakout. But until that time, that is not, uh, that is not what's happening. So remind ourselves that these things fail and this could be one of those failures remember this low right here was a 382 retracement and we said this is flat out bullish when you make a 382 retracement after this monster a b c d pattern to the downside this is what i'm going to be showing this particular pattern when i'm in las vegas for the money show uh, next week i'm uh, going to have a lot of fun there we got some nice uh, folks coming in a couple of surprise guests anyway it'll be it'll be fun anyway this is very important what's happening today so the two things that are big watch list are what's happening with apple today because it's the most widely held uh, stock around i believe and also the fact that those treasury notes are setting at the proverbial moment of truth and they are it's coming down very very slowly so that's the important thing let's just double check to see what it's doing right now and I'll be right with you. Hold on one second, and we'll see how those notes are doing because 
when they're doing good, that'll be it. Okay, I've got to do the four hour. And how close are we? Whoa, we are eight ticks away. So put this on your uh, 114.04, folks. That's the magical number, 114.04. I really think that uh, when that gets there, I think the old cowboy is going to have to nibble up and uh, buy a couple of bonds or something because that's the way I'd really like to be seeing these things uh, have a rally because bonds are just been massacred. And I think we'll probably get uh, some type of a relief rally here. Uh, remember now, when we started this show, I said that number, uh, the 382 number in the uh, S&P was at uh, 41, uh, 78, 75. Uh, we did hit 49, 70, uh, 79 and a quarter. Now, we haven't really done much since that time. But remember, uh, this pattern that we're looking at, because it may go higher. I want to bring this up to you because of the low that we made today in the S&P. We'll take a break. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I post the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. <laughs> I, I guess I messed up again. Stan, are you there? I am here. Yes, Larry. Yeah, I, you know, I swear to God, I got you written down here for today. Uh, because it was a day after Arch's birthday. How about we'll do uh, we'll do it uh, in in a few a few more days from now? Because I don't I don't want to put you on the spot. What before you? Since I've got you here, and I am yeah. going to put you on the spot. Are we close to any type of a tradable high? I do believe so. Um, okay. We are 322 Lucas days uh -huh. from the January 4th high of last year, and Every major Lucas number spinning out from that date has resulted in a, in a significant trend change. And I can oh. read these out to you over the air. Um, oh, that, that would be great. Yes, just please uh, do that. Have, yeah, I had a little time I could have prepared a chart for today, but was, uh, was not prepared, of course. 
Uh, oh, hey, but, Stan, how about in an hour? Would you be ready in an hour? Because I'm going to be doing another show right after this. We could do it at 2.30. I, I will speak to it now, and I have a chart ready in an hour. Absolutely. Let's go. Tell us what you have, and you can show us in, in an hour. That's great. So please sure. go on. Um, 322 is a Lucas number, and if you add that number to the January 4th, 2022 high, it lands on today. And every major Fibonacci ratio of that 322 number has resulted in a significant trend change. And I'll just go through the list very rapidly. Um, 0.618 of that 322 lined up with the October 13th, 2022 bottom. Um, 0.764 lined up with the bottom we saw in December, right around Christmas. A 0.854 of that ratio lined up with the February 2nd high. Uh, let me go back in time a little bit. Um, 0.309 lined up with the June 2nd high of 2022, and so on. Um, I'll have a chart in about an hour prepared, but um, I think we're looking really toppy here right now. Okay. As you know, I've been calling for an April high, and yes, uh, I think we're there. I think we're there. Okay. Uh, could it could it go another day or two? Sure. Uh, these turning points have varied by four trading days uh, since January of last year. So I don't want to try to get too cute and say today is it. But I think we're very close. And then I think we're going to okay. be down into mid June for the next 34 week, eight month cycle bottom. That sounds great. Let's see it at 2:30 New York time. How's that? Sounds good, Larry. I'll be ready. All right. Thank you very much, Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Okay, folks, I will give you my little uh, uh, verified version. You can see here in the Tiger Dan, I posted it. You can see the ABCD patterns. The first one here is your ABCD. Then you can see the next one that forms. This makes a three drive to a top pattern. The $64 question is, is there one other one right here? In other words, here, here, and here that could take us as high as 42.30 to 42.60. That's certainly possible. And if that Apple chart is correct, and Apple is breaking out to the upside. Believe me, these people are not stupid, and they're not going to stand in front of being short Apple above 167 would be my guess. But again, that's my guess. Now, the other thing that's happening that's important is we have reached the most bearish extreme. Uh, well, let's put it the other way. The most bullish extreme, less bears than we've had in two years. I saw that on Bloomberg this morning, that the VIX index was – down, I think it hit 17 or something like that. They were pointing it out that the last time we had seen a reading this low was right at the top of the market in February. Let's say that again, Larry, in March of last year. And that's when we had a pretty significant break. So those are readings. These are not charts. So we're watching, you know, what it's going to be doing at that time. But this is a very symmetrical pattern. You can see today's low. Right here on the low was exactly 61% retracement of the low that we made the day before. There's a 61% retracement of the day before that. There's a 78% retracement of the day before that. These numbers repeat over and over again, and that's why these algorithmic traders are out there using this to see the market move. You can see with the Dow down, it was up about 250 earlier in the morning. Then it was down 150. When it's down 150, where is it? What is it doing? It's setting exactly at a 382 retracement of the lows from three or four days ago, and that's what kicked it in gear. And you know which stock kicked it in gear, and that's Goldman Sachs because it's a price weighted index, and that is the one that is the the most bullish of all. Now, I've got a really cool chart here from Jeff. Over in New Jersey, uh, this is really a beautiful pattern, folks. I uh, he's done a terrific job. I don't agree with the black background, but Jeff likes it and it works for Jeff, so we're going to go along with that. But you can see the perfection here. There's your one, there's your three, and there's your five, folks. Now you can you can massage this any way you want, A, B, C, D, but that is a one, three, five pattern, as defined by the uh, Roy and. Uh, uh, it's Bill Longstreet, and that tells us where it is. Now, this is also in Andrew Lowe's book, The Profit Magic, and uh, the, the Evolution of the Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. I've gone through so many books, 
trying to find things about the dynamite triangles that I finally found something in um, the technical analysis of futures markets by my friend uh, John uh, Murphy. John had a section there about Dunnigan, and as soon as I saw Dunnigan's name, it all clicked in because I had bought his systems from Ed Dobson many, many years ago. They were sold for like 500 bucks a piece, and since Ed and I are still friends, I remembered. I, I know they're back there somewhere in the library, but I'll have to dig them out. But I remember that the, there were two systems that they, they had. One was the Dunnigan thrust method, and the other one was the Dunnigan one-way method. The one way the one way method is the one that really got my interest, and I'll show you why. I'll bring it up to you, uh, give you a pretty good example, because this happens to be it. And we're seeing this today in, in in natural gas again. Let's just get this up here because something very significant happened in natural gas today, and as we finally uh, popped above the 382 retracement of the last move. But you see, when when Dunnigan was doing this, he was looking for really strong trending markets that consolidated like this that's basically what it was and this was nothing more than a flag you see a pennant is pennant goes up like this or down like this a flag goes sideways you see how it all the point comes here other flags are up here flags are down here pennants are right here so he's looking for that and when that breaks he's going to be buying it well somebody today that i was chatting with earlier this morning said hey i'm going to give this thing a try and by golly, it worked like magic. The darn thing just took off like a rocket, and it did very, very well. And that market, of course, uh, was the natural gas market. It did exactly the same thing. And as in fact, uh, we have one other one. I have to show it to you here last night because here's where it all started. This is where we hit it the first time last night. This was about uh, – it printed at about uh, 3.30 this morning where we hit the 382 – uh, right there, and then we backed off about $12, and then we went back through it. And the difference was, is when it got to here, it formed that dynamite triangle. That was a 382 retracement of this move right here. You had a nice little down sloping line, and I was on the line with these dudes that trade out of Las Vegas, and they say, we're buying that, and they have done very well with these dynamite triangles. And so I am going to be looking at some uh, ideals ideas with it because Dunnigan had some great work and I know that uh, some of those patterns that he had were put into uh, different trading systems that were did very very well for many years uh, since that time I don't remember you know what happened to him after that but that's uh, that's what I'm watching anyway so I, I keep getting questions about it because I've mentioned it so many times and we're seeing some of these markets that are doing that and that's what we want to be able to uh, get involved with okay so we'll take a break here 877-927-6648 you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market you're going to need a crystal ball after all it's impossible to predict the future right like any endeavor in life before you decide it's impossible get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today 
and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money back guarantee at tfnn.com tfnn educating investors biotech is booming but for how long whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course trade labu or labd Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted this chart here on the natural gas. Uh, uh, right here was the uh, 382 retracement on the long-term daily. That came in at 235. It hit it once. Then you can see we backed off about, uh, see, that would have been about seven or $800. We went up, made a little APCD right here. This formed the, uh, what we, we're going to call it a, a triangle because that's what it is. We'll just call it a tiny, we won't give it a dynamite name, but so this is a triangle. You can see it's 45 degree lines. Once you bop above this line, you buy it, okay, and you put your stop right below here. You actually could put your stop at the 80% of that level because the main thing is if these break and they get back into the triangle again, you really want to tighten your stop. This kind of things I'm going to be talking about when I do the next. Uh, uh, my next uh, day trading thing that's, uh, that I'll be doing. It all depends on how well I do over in Las Vegas. If I do really well, maybe they'll sign me up for a long-term contract for three days. I don't know about that. It's a joke. Anyway, it, you, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you pop above that. John Murphy talked about this as a regular pennant, is which it is. It's not a flag. Flags point up and down. Pennants go straight across. So when you see this pop above this, it's very important that it doesn't get back in here because that's a possibility of a false breakout. And that's what could be happening in Apple today because if Apple doesn't close really strong, at least close above 165 or 166, there's trouble in River City considering that stock has so much volume and so many followers. And they're talking about it. You know, I heard them on Bloomberg today, the big breakout in Apple. And by golly, when I saw 167 early this morning and the Dow Jones up 250 points, I said, well, maybe today's the day. Now, the NASDAQ wasn't doing it, the Russell wasn't doing it, and the E-mini S&P wasn't doing it, but the Dow Jones was because it's a price-weighted index, and by golly, that's the main thing, that it makes it uh, really difficult sometimes because these things are very heavily weighted, like Goldman Sachs, Transamerica, some of these insurance companies, Health, uh, United Healthcare. All of those are very, very expensive, and that makes for a big difference in how things, are, uh, you know, how things move as far as the index is concerned. Okay, let's uh, keep that in mind. Now, we've got another one here that is very, very important, too. Now, we've talked about this yesterday. We're going to be talking about it again today. It's the same principle. This happens to be the heating oil. Now, look, remember that the Arabs came out and said, hey, we're cutting back one and a half million barrels a day. Well, part of those million barrels is heating oil. Okay, that's the, the cracks into crude oil, cracks into gasoline, and the heating oil. And look at this. This is not a bullish action, folks. Uh, we have actually gone below this right now with crude oil going below, uh, easily going below uh, 81 into the 80s. I, last time I saw it, it was an 80-something. And this is in, in, the, in the face of the fact that they've had production, the supply cut back by one and a half million barrels. So somebody is not telling us the truth. 
That's why being a technician, by golly, you got something going for you because guess what? They can lie to you. They can cheat you. They can give you misinformation. They can report you to the police or the, and, you know, whoever, uh, the, the Association for Animals or whatever it is, but they can't hide from you, folks. If there's more buying, prices are going up. If there's more selling, prices are going down, and that's what you have to realize. So let's pay attention to that. Both of those are very, very interesting. What I'm doing now, uh, as far as research, I want to check to see what the probabilities are and how do we define trend to see if these triangles are really moving. Now, when the market's moving really fast, like we were in the uh, uh, natural gas early this morning, then that's a really simple one. But the second natural gas, it went into consolidation for a very long period of time. And they work both in up markets and in down markets. So that's why it's so uh, very, very important to me. Now, someone asked a question about the chart that I put up with the full moons and new moons. Just get this up here. They, this is nothing more than the last few months in the full moons and new moons. The, the full moons are the little dark red dots, the filled in dots. The clear dots, those are the, this is the new moon, which is conjunction. 180 degrees, you're in opposition, okay? This is uh, in the full moon, it's very bright. The conjunction's being hid, that's uh, dark. So the darkness of the moon, this is when the Navy SEALs do their thing. That's some right from the art of war, Sun Tzu. Go in at the, the darkness of the moon to, to uh, hide your, your uh, soldiers or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. So what I did was I just did a bunch of these. Now, Norm Minsky, who was on the show yesterday, said that he had done 11 examples of what's going on right now in the market. Not only do we have a uh, new moon and solar eclipse coming up here on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, but we also have uh, the planet Jupiter making a specific aspect. And then on Friday, we have the monster of all communication planets, Mercury, going retrograde. Uh, president Reagan, when he was president, never signed a bill when Mercury was in retrograde motion. His wife, Nancy, would not allow him to do that. They had their own personal astrologer. I can't remember her name. She was very, very, very famous. It'll dawn on me about three hours after this show. But uh, they were they were very, heavily, very heavily into that. That was uh, that was really something. I got to meet President Reagan before he was president. He was governor. And uh, I was at Chasen's restaurant. If you remember the movie uh, Trady, uh, Pretty Woman, where the, she flips out the escargot and the guy catches it, that was Chasen's restaurant. It was the only five star restaurant in the LA area. Uh, it stayed in business till about 1992, and then the owners finally decided to sell the real estate and they put up a 35 story high rise or something. Anyway, uh, but uh, they ate there quite a few times, and I met him at a cocktail party when he was raising money. This was in, oh my God, 1974 when he was running for governor for the for the second time. And uh, one of the people that was helping run the campaign happened to be a dear friend, and so we got to got to meet them both. And there were a bunch of celebrities there, but uh, that was nothing in, back in those days of. Uh, California, my gosh, it was it's not like that anymore. It's uh, no, not good. Anyway, let's move on to a couple others here that I wanted to talk about. I covered the gold. I want to go back into the gold market here one more time because we've had a, a big run here. I wanted to show you this is where we were yesterday. Let's get this up here. Hold on one second because I still think we've got a nice correction coming in the gold market. We've already had a $76 correction from uh, 2060 down to 94 that is uh what seventy dollars the harmonic number is 36 36 times 2 is 72 so that pretty much set that in we've had a pretty good rally here we went above the 382 here uh off this rally here we've gotten up to just about the 50 percent level a lot of resistance up around this uh, 2030 level we're trading at around 2014 right now so i still think we've got a chance for this big a BCD here in gold to come in here down at 1973, folks. And that would be a very, very nice one to really take a look at because that's during the time that we had the Russian grain robbery in 1973. And I had my little bandana and my little plastic cap pistol, my hop along Cassidy gun, and 
I took advantage of some of that stuff. Hey, let's take a break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the last week's action here in the Dow Jones. As you can see here, today's low was a perfect 61% retracement of the low five days ago. But the most important thing is you can see we've got a potential double top in here, but uh, we can certainly go higher up into this uh, 4350 to 4450 level. We're not very far from that 300 points in the Dow. It's not very much. And if Apple continues to gain, that could very easily be it. But I do need to show you one other little thing that may or may not mean anything today. Let me get this up here. This is my AI program. Some, uh oh, shut the front door and razor in. I got to do it a little backwards here. Going to have to hurry because I don't want to miss it. Let's get this up here and we will bring it up here post haste. And that means quickly, I think. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Don't do this to me. Here. No, that's not it. Oh, no. Oh, here it is right here. Here we go. Get it up here. You'll be able to see. We're expecting a top here. Very shortly, folks, means the market, if this is correct, will be down the rest of the day. And uh, how much? We don't know because all we can say is that 
Uh, we made a high here. It may go all the way. It may go sideways. But there should be something resistance up in this area right here in the next 15 or 20 minutes. So pay attention to it. If you're super bullish and it gets above that, you're going to make lots of money. If we don't get above that 42 100 level in that Dow Jones E mini, then maybe not so much, but you can easily do it. So let's pay attention. We're just back above the 60 of uh, the 382 retracement in the SP at uh, the number was uh, 41 uh, 78 75. I believe we're at 4080 or something like that, or 4079. I can't remember which uh, 4080. Uh, 4180 so that's where we're standing right now so pay attention to these uh, they might be hazardous to your wealth if they work and if they do work maybe you'll make a few bucks on them so we're going to take a little break here we're going to start session two with uh, hopefully Tim Boss and Stan Harley so may God bless 